A single phase system consists of two conductors, a phase and a neutral. Voltage polarity of phase conductor changes from positive to negative alternatively. Due to this, if we connect an electric load between them, an alternating current flows through it. We can convert this alternating current to direct current by using four diodes. Because diode only works when it is forward biased, that is, anode is given higher voltage means positive, and cathode is given lower voltage means negative. Here we can see anode is getting positive polarity and cathode is getting negative polarity therefore it conducts due to this in positive half cycle the diode d2 and d4 gets forward biased therefore they conducts and current flows through the load in this direction let's say from a to b now in negative half cycle diodes d1 and d3 gets forward biased and conducts the current again in same direction that is from a to b means with this circuit bidirectional current gets converted into unidirectional current we had discussed this in details in our previous video this process is known as single phase ac to dc conversion or single phase rectification now let's talk about three phase system this system consists of four wires means three phase conductors and a neutral conductor these two conductors makes first phase known as rate phase these two conductors makes the second phase known as yellow phase and these two makes the third phase known as blue phase now let's talk about the voltage of this system first of all the voltage of red phase increases from 0 to a maximum positive value with respect to neutral wire. At this time, voltages of remaining two phases has some other values as shown here. After some time, voltage of yellow phase achieves the maximum positive value and similarly, after some time, the voltage of blue phase achieves its maximum positive value in this way the process continues and is known as three phase balanced voltage when a three phase balanced load is connected in this circuit three phase currents flows through the load and current in each phase varies in magnitude similar to the voltage of respective phase. Neutral wire carries no current because the sum of voltages in a balanced system at the neutral point is zero. And now let's talk about three phase AC to DC conversion or three phase rectification. This also use bridge circuit. Here, six diodes are required instead of four. As we can see here, the diodes are numbered from one to six. Now, if we on the three phase supply, what happens? For some time, these two diodes gets on and current flows like this though we can realize that 
on both side of this diode there is a positive polarity even then this diode is forward biased this is because the polarity of this side is higher in magnitude than that of other side and diode gets forward biased only when anode is at higher potential than the cathode after some time these two diodes will work and remaining stays off because they are reverse biased as you can see here anode of this diode is at lower potential and cathode is at higher potential and the same condition applies on these diodes therefore they remains off in this way every time there will be two diodes in on state and remaining four in off state and this happens with the different combinations because of this a positive voltage get appears at this side of the load and negative voltage appears at this side due to this current flows through load only in one direction let's discuss this in more details from 0 to 30 degree d5 and d6 gets on and our load gets connected to phase y and b which gives output voltage equals to line voltage that is v by b from 30 degree to 90 degree d1 and d6 gets on and our load connected to phase r and y which makes output voltage equal to line to line voltage v r y and similarly from 90 degree to 150 degree d1 and d2 gets on and a load gets connected to b and r phase and output voltage become v b r in this way the sequence continues itself every time two diodes gets on and a load gets connected with two line terminals the output voltage gets equals line to line voltage and the output voltage always has same polarity that is dc we can understand this phenomenon by comparing it with a water pumping system in which every leg consists of two unidirectional valves when fluid is pushed into the leg it comes out from one valve and when pulled out it enters from another valve so in this way three phase supply is converted to dc this is also known as three phase rectification note that in this example all the conditions are considered to be ideal that means the losses in the source and in the load are neglected even the impedance of all the component from source to load is neglected that's why the waveforms are also looking ideal we did this to make it easy to understand hope you got it if your answer is yes please let us know by clicking on like button